Honorable Albrecht, la parola. Thank you very much, President, Commissioner, dear colleagues. Yes, we need to strengthen security. I agree with all those who say we need to deliver whatever is necessary and proportionate to get a higher level of security. But what you are proposing now, the proposals of blanket surveillance, of blanket mass surveillance of citizens, is exactly the opposite to that. It's not delivering that. Instead, you are delivering a symbolic measure on the cost of effective security and the civil liberties of EU citizens. Already before the Paris attacks, it was possible to know who is on which plane. We already know it. We have the advanced passenger information. It's there. We can access it. We know who's on the plane. So with regard to known suspects, we can follow them. So why don't we focus on the suspects? Why don't we focus on the risk? That is what you need to do in your directive, because that would be a focused approach on security. And we we really need to strengthen those officers, police officers, security persons, locally, regionally, and on the European level, to analyze this information. They need to be able to connect the dots. That's exactly what was missing in the past and what led us to this unsecure situation like today. But the problem is we spend all our money into blanket surveillance measures like data retention and other issues. It's hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, euros you want to invest in the retention of blanket, uh, in the blanket retention of personal name records. This money is daily needed in the police offices everywhere in Europe and it's daily needed for the cold coordination of European security and police authorities. Europol has just a few money to set up joint, uh, joint uh, um, uh, investigation teams. We need to invest the money there. That's what we need. So I'm not convinced, Mr. Avamopoulos. I'm not convinced uh, from your proposals. And I'm not the only one, by the way. It's also the Court of Justice. The Court of Justice, which has said very clearly, it's not legal, it's not in line with the fundamental right on data protection to just survey everybody. You have to choose where you're shooting, you have to choose where, where you're going after. You have to create some determinators to say there's a risk or there's a suspicion. Just don't survey everybody because that would not be something different like China or Bahrain does. Thank you very much.